I got my Century Arms, <clears throat> basically an Uzi style carbine rifle. It's uh, got a 16 inch barrel. Magazine sitting in here. I'm gonna take that out. I already loaded that up. But, uh, it's got the folding stock, 16 inch barrel. He said it was based, based off the uh, Israeli submachine gun, the Uzi. I just got this one. I got a friend that's got some watermelons. I'm gonna get in bad, so I'm gonna shoot some of them. He donated to the cause. Fired a few rounds from the gun already just to make sure it's relatively sights are relatively accurate right now. I'm my watermelon I'm gonna shoot. And uh I was I don't know my first impressions when I got it was uh one and the pictures the barrel looked really long and they don't look that bad in person. Um it's gotta be 16 inches to make it legal with the folding stock. So <clears throat> And it's got a, which I didn't know this, I never noticed in the picture, but it's got a grip safety here and a safety here. So I'd never seen that before in the pictures. But pretty nice, it's uh, came in really good shape. I mean, it's supposed to be uh, redone by Century Arms, semi automatic, of course. <clears throat> so yeah, I was pretty impressed. Uh, it looks smaller, it felt it feels like a small, compact gun. I mean, it's not real wide or thick, but. It's all steel other than the grips there and there. It's all steel and it does feel pretty heavy. I think it's like nine pounds, but it feels like it's no featherweight, that's for sure. So, but it looks pretty cool. I can't wait to shoot it again. <laughs> so, now well, let's get a good look at it. So, turn out the shadows. All right, all right. Well, I'm gonna do a little shooting. See what she does to them watermelons. I'll show you how the stock folds. You gotta push in this here. Well, oh, hold on. Get a little ahead of myself. I'm gonna push this in here, and then this will uh, move. Push this in, that'll fold. And you just push up like that. But it's actually, I'm kind of glad I didn't get the pistol version. Because it is a pretty heavy gun, like I said. It just feels more comfortable shooting it like a rifle. Ugh. And then you just, so I'm glad I got this version of it. The pistol, I mean, it's pretty heavy. It's all metal. That chamber flag. Mag holds 32 rounds. I ain't uh, I ain't got 32 in. I only got like 20, so I probably only need two for these watermelons. So give her a shot. <sighs> See what happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Knock the other one down. All right. Well, I'll finish them off. <laughs> Throwing some mud on the. All right. Well, I'm gonna aim for the target now. Fill that up a little bit. Uh, looks like we're out. Yep. All out. That looks like it functioned perfect. Yeah, that nine millimeter just don't explode the watermelons like the like the bigger ones do. Like I shot, I got a video with my 44 Casul and it just it was like liquefied the watermelon other than a little chunk. Same with my 450 Bushmaster, but the nine millimeter just ain't got the velocity. But yeah, I'll, I'll walk up there so we a little bit better. <laughs> really throwing that mud up on there. 
Yeah, not as exciting as the bigger calipers, but yeah, pretty nice tight group. Yep, pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, pretty fun gun. <clears throat> I got a uh, pretty happy. <laughs> Get an Uzi style, the most popular submachine guns ever. So, now well, that's it. Might try to shoot some other stuff. I got a bunch of watermelons, so I might break out the 40 Ruger now. So, so on to the next video.